Get on there, mule! Pull on, Betsy! Move along, Moose! There, mules. Whoa. Go ahead on, Missy. Drink up. <sighs> Buck, get over here. Give me a hand. think she is <clears throat> well she sure ain't no squaw that's plain enough well I can see that but why is she out in the middle of the desert dressed like one I expect she's more than likely one of them pilgrims got ambushed by them Indians I hear tell there's been a fair amount of that going on what you gonna do with her reckon we'll haul her into Mojave let Doc <sighs> have a look-see How you feeling there, Missy? Don't fret none. We's gonna get you some help. Say, maybe she don't speak no English. You understand? We sure didn't think you was no Indian. Ain't. You got a name, honey? May. Well, May, I'm Clay. Come on over here by the fire and get you some fixings. Buck here makes a mighty mean stew. How's come you've been living with them Indians? My kin and me was with a wagon train going to Sacramento. We was a few days on the trail when Daddy heard of a shortcut. So we lit out on our own and weren't but a couple of days when we was attacked by Indians. Listen, girl, you stay in here. Don't you dare come out no matter what you hear. ways till I woke up in an Indian camp. Next thing I know, they was trading me to some other Indians. That's rough. I do remember thinking there's something not right about this guy. 
What guy? The one who tussled me from the trunk. Why? He didn't resemble no Indian. Leastways, not the way I remembered it. Well, maybe you were scared. You right there. I was plum scared. Well, that's all over now. Come on. I reckon we ought to get some shut-eye. We'll be heading out first light. Howdy, Clay. How was your trip? Eh, uh, not bad. Bringing this squaw into town? Found her floundering on the trail. Besides, she ain't no squaw. Sure fooled me. Injuns killed her kin. Took her a few years back. Why'd well, get her some new duds? Quick! You know how the town folk feel about Indian. Just soon as Doc has a look-see. She looks familiar. Do I know her? Might. Hmm, I wonder. You sure look nice and gussied up, if you don't mind me a saying. You mean without all them critters and dust clinging to me? Sure. Even with these marks on my face? Even with them marks. I'm kind of curious why you have them. Them Indians give them to me so they'd know me in the next world. Lots of us got them. I wasn't thinking just that. Come on, we need to find you a place to light for the night. But I thought... I knowed what you're thinking, Missy. We can't do that. Wouldn't set right with the town folk. It wouldn't? No, ma'am, it would not. Anything you say, Mr. Clayton? I think we might have a problem. You do? Yeah, I do. That girl came in on the big wagon. I think I recognize her from one of the raids. Uh, we was pretty well disguised. Just the same, we need to keep an eye on her. Why well, take a chance? Let's get rid of her now. No, not just yet. Might be we could use her, you know, to stir up things a little bit with the Indians. Yeah, I think we'll just wait and see. Let's keep an eye on her, though. Have a good sleep, did you? It was nice. I waked up once from a bad dream, though. Bad dream? About the day I was took. When them Indians pulled me out of the trunk. I thought I'd seen a couple of them yesterday on the street. You did? The ones that walked by us. Or the ones with the dressing man. They walked right by us, they did. This way, they sure look like the ones. Point them out to me if you see them again. If I see them, I will. You sure are a handsome little thing. Even still with these mocks? Even with them. Look, there's one of them now. Are you sure? Yep, they's the ones. Pipe down, don't point. That's the judge. The judge? Yeah, he's a big man in this town. Gotta be careful. He's the man that grabbed me and did my folks in. Okay, just be quiet. He's coming this away. Where'd you get the squaw, Clay? She ain't no squaw. Well, them Markins say she is. Anyways, I hear she's been living with them engines for years. That makes her one in my book. Maybe she didn't have no other choice. Nah, there's always a choice. She could have escaped. She did. She sure took her sweet time. Might be this was her first chance. It ain't likely. It ain't none of your business no ways. 
Just stay clear of her. I'd watch my mouth if I was you. You ain't me, so you best be getting. You best watch yourself, or before long, you'll be marked as an engine lover. She ain't no engine. We'll see about that. I'd sure be interested in knowing how come you didn't escape sooner. They wasn't bad to me at all. They treated me real cordial-like. Besides, I wasn't knowing where I was. You didn't know where you was? Well, all I knowed is I was in the desert somewhere. I wasn't knowing which way to go if I did run. You see? I'm a seeing all right. Things get bad, did they? Not so you'd notice. I was to marry runs like a deer and it gnawed on me. I kept thinking when I got married it would be for, you know, feelings. Seems I didn't have none for him. Sats, he already got four wives. Can't say as I blame you none. Yeah. She knows. How do you know? The way she looked at me. You really think she knows? She knows all right. What about that mule skinner? Think he knows anything? She's smitten with him. If she knows, he knows. We need to take care of that. Yeah, grab a couple of the boys. You know what to do. Show sure enough. Give me a whiskey, Sanders. I see y'all still gentle in that squaw. Like I told you earlier, ain't none of your business. Yeah, well, I'm making it mine. What do you mean? I mean, we want her out of town. I don't see that. I don't think you see much. You best leave before you get yourself in trouble. Trouble? The only trouble I'm about to have is with you. Just keep a coming. You call down the thunder, you'll get the lightning. You got a dog in this fight, do you, Judge? What's going on here? These two was looking for a tussle, and they got it. Did you see it, Judge? I saw the whole thing, Marshal. Billy was minding his own business, and Clay salted him. It's true. I want them one, but he started this whole mess. Someone get docked. Come on, Clay, you can cool off in a cell tonight. But, Marshal, the number of the thing was about me. He was just protecting me. Like I say, he'll spend the night in jail. We'll soak our cell out in the morning. Let's go. It wasn't Clayton's fault. Those two men and the one they called the judge. They's the ones that killed my folks and took me away. The judge, you say? He's an upstanding citizen. One of the town's leaders. I doubt that he had anything to do with what happened to you. you got to believe me, Marshal. He was the one that pulled me from that chest. He's the one that took me away. i got to tell you, that's pretty hard to believe. He did it. I know that more than anything else. He did it, Marshal. He did it. There's nothing I can do about it tonight anyways. Just go on back to your room, and we'll sort this out in the morning. Go on now, we'll sort it out tomorrow. But, but Clay. He's staying here tonight, just get along now. What are you doing? 
Let me go. You ain't taking me again. Where do you think you're going? I sure ain't going with you. We'll see about that. Back off. <laughs> you, you know you won't use that. You're just like your ma. She talked big, but when it came right down to it, she couldn't do nothing. I knew it. Y'all are the ones that killed my folks. Wasn't nothing personal. Just business. Maybe it wasn't personal to you. But it was to me and mine. Come on. Give me that gun now. Y'all better stay back or I'll shoot. No, you won't. Not from the way you acted when I hauled you from that trunk. Stay back. I said, I want that gun now. No. Hold it right there, Judge. Oh, glad you showed up, Marshal. This here girl just shot Will and is threatening to shoot me. Arrest her. Save your breath, Judge. I heard it all. All what? The story about how you and your men murdered her folks and took her. You got it all wrong, Marshal. I was just trying to appease her. No, he weren't. What I said is all true. Just like I told you. I see that now. It's all over. You're not taking her side, are you? No sides, just right from wrong. Get moving, you're both going to jail. I'll have your badge for this. You won't have a job after tonight. Get going. So what are you going to do now? Oh, I don't know. You? I got to get the big wagons back to the mine. I was thinking I might go with you. That would be great. It won't be easy, though. Lots of hard work. I think I'm up for it. <laughs>